Move so that I can change the pitch like this. I can tune it. Just almost one full octave, almost. Um, so, and you can make these, by the way. This is just—it's like a electrical fitting or something. Cost me fifty cents at Home Depot. I went into Home Depot one day. And I said, "Oh, I'm trying to fashion my own didgeridoo." And they went, "What? I'm trying to do what?" So I just went and found it myself, and that's what I found. Anyway, so there are three animals that you're going to hear at the start of this song and that's what um, when I'm doing those high-pitched calls and everything uh, so I'm doing the drone that drone is like a bagpipe drone boom, that just means one note and then so that would be a little bit monotonous if I just went boom, for half an hour so on top of that I've also got these these voicings and they're they're specific animals only found in Australia the first one that I do is a dingo um, like that dingo ate my baby. Yeah. <laughs> and see, yeah. on fire. It's all thanks to you. <laughs> you been there? So dingo, I do the hand action like this, like that. Okay, that's dingo. And uh, yeah, you can do it too. Normally this is reserved for little kids, but you guys are small enough, so you can do that too. And you're going to hear the dingo. He growls. He gives a warning growl and then he barks twice. It sounds way better if I do it over there. <laughs> That's Dingo. Yes. Yes. The second one is kangaroo. You, you all know what a kangaroo is, right? Um, they're delicious, by the way. If you ever get a chance to eat one, you should. I shouldn't say that, but they are really good. Um, <laughs> when you hit um, one with your car, it yeah, tastes pretty good. Yeah. Um, so the way that you guys see uh, deer everywhere over here, we don't have that. We have kangaroos. So you see them, sadly, on the side of the road. You see them out on the golf course, hopping around. And when they're hopping around, um, this is the way that we do kangaroo, because they don't have a call, but I put my fingers like this and we bounce around, boing, 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 it sounds like this. That's kangaroo. And the third and final animal is kookaburra. Anyone ever hear of kookaburra? It sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Yes, yes. See, the first time I played in the States, I was like, anyone know Kookaburra? And everyone was just like, yeah. And they started singing that song, and I thought it was just an Aussie thing, but I guess not. You guys sang it at school too, right? Yeah. Cool. Um, even in Walla Walla, merry, merry king of Walla Walla is he. So, it doesn't have the same ring to it. So kookaburra, uh, uh, they really do sit at the top of the trees and they have this, this call that sounds like they're laughing at everyone all the time. It's a little bit unnerving when you arrive in Australia, all these things are laughing at you. Anyway, come on, give me a break. Anyway, so they're up there and uh, we just do the call like this. And this is how it sounds. Okay, so this is my last song, and that wasn't the song, by the way. That was just the intro. It's okay. So those three. Oh yeah, that's it. No, I'm going to play those three animals at the beginning of this song. I just want to explain what on earth it is that I'm doing up here, and um, so we'll start that. This is the first song on the new album. Uh, go and check it out if if you like the music. The CD is called Underdog, and it's right over there. And I'll be over there in between sets and after Chris's play as well. Come and say good day if you want to. Um, it's been my pleasure to be here, everyone. This last song is called Tsunami. Thank you very much.
Don't forget the hand action. So yeah. <laughs> Can we read? We got the. We got three, right?
everyone. Thank you to Mainstream Studios and everyone that organized this. I appreciate it. Coming up next, Chris Dwayne Group. Stick around for that. Definitely, definitely. Come and say good day if you get a chance. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>